Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we conquered sub-levels 12 and 13 of the Dream Den. And in this episode, we're gonna go in this hole and rescue Louie! Go ahead and save. Here it comes! Dream Den, sub-level 14. The final floor! The final dungeon! Okay, this battle is actually one of the hardest you'll do in a Pikmin game. So, separate your Pikmin. And get your president with- I mean, get your captain with more health. Actually, no, I'm gonna have Almar do it. Get all of your yellows with one of your captains. Take all of your yellows. Make sure you save as many yellows as you can for this fight. Have the other captain take the rest of your Pikmin, and where is it? Okay, there it is. You want your other captain with your other Pikmin to go behind this geyser here. You want to take all the Pikmin and your other captain behind this geyser, and your other captain active, and... If you're kind of taking a look at the layout of this place, this kind of looks like the top of a GameCube, because there's the rounded square, and there's the place where you put the disc, the ship's kind of in the place where the power button is, and that stuff in the center is basically where the disc fits. I don't get how the other thing fits in there, that geyser, but whatever. Anyway, when you're ready, and you think you can take on the boss, go to the center. Check it out! It's that familiar blue glow! Is that Louis, Mr. President? I have located Louis resting on a vast mound of treasure! For him to venture to these depths alone, the desire of man is a thing to be feared. Well, think about that for a second. Remember those rocks that we had to break through in order to get to the next levels? Louis tanked through those himself! Preferably like this hands or his face for that matter. Louis is someone to be feared, but Louis is not moving, could he have exhausted his strength in reaching these depths? There may yet be time, quickly, to Louis's aid! We'll aid him! But wait! The treasure has legs! Meet the final boss of Pikmin 2, the Titan Dweevil! Starting this battle, you want to have your yellows with a red potion. He has those four weapons on his body, one for each of the main elements. He has the fire weapon, the flare cannon, the water weapon, the monster pump, the electric weapon, the shock therapist, and the poison weapon, the comedy bomb. I have to say, the shock therapist is easily the most devastating attack because it can kill any of your Pikmin that are not yellow on contact. The second most devastating is probably the monster pump, and I'll show you why it's the most second most devastating because uh, if you guys can use it. And now he's using what I think is the third most devastating attack, the Comedy Bomb. But if you're on this ledge when he uses the Comedy Bomb, he cannot possibly hit you, which is very good. And... Come on, take out the monster. Okay, now he's gonna use... These bubbles. You can see they're going everywhere. He can hit anywhere on the entire floor. So that's why I have my other captain behind that guy's... Wow, he shot the president from that far away? We activated a tutorial in the final battle! That's the first time in my tutorial when my pigment get hit by water projectiles. And dang, you shot the president, but he didn't really shoot Olimar? Dang, he must not like the president! <laughs> oh, looks like his weapon started smoking. When one of his weapons starts smoking, it does not mean that the Titan Beeble is getting hot and sexy and getting down with his bad self, no. It means that the weapon is getting weak. When the weapon gets weak, it'll start to malfunction. Arguably, that can be a blessing or a curse because it causes the weapon to behave differently than normal. But it also means that you don't have many more hits to knock it off. Now he's using the flare can again, even though that's his weakest attack. Come on, hit the monster pump, hit the monster pump. I don't really want to attack the shock therapist because that's the attack we're immune to. Alright, we knocked off the thump monster pump. That's one down. Okay. 
The order I would try to take out the weapons is the monster pump first, with your yellows, then the comedy bomb, then the flare cannon, then the shock therapist. And I'm using a lot of red potions just to speed up this battle. Although I don't think purple potions really work on him when he's in his weapon form, because it does indeed stun him, but I've never actually been able to hit a weapon, to knock off a weapon with a purple potion. So it's kind of a waste of time. Now, attack the comedy bomb! Don't know why I'm using that voice, but I think it's for a flare cannon. Stop being so hot! He's loving the flare cannon here, but that's actually his weakest attack. And. Looks like the comp. And the comedy bomb starts smoking. Hey, he's loving the flare cannon! Why is he always using his weakest attack? Anyway. Here's another red potion. I'm just using red potions just to speed up the process. Alright, we knocked out the comedy bomb. There's two more to go. Next is the flare cannon. Oh, he's being an idiot. He's using the attack we're immune to. Come on, hit the flare cannon. Hit the flare cannon. Hit the flare cannon. Alright, we knocked out the flare cannon. Just one more to go. Now to just hit the shock therapist. Come on. A lot of people have told me, well, a lot of people have said that this fight takes them hours. I really don't think it takes hours. I think it just takes like five to ten minutes if you know what you're doing. And he's stunning me, even though I. He stunned me with the electric beam, even though I threw him all on there. Whoa! Looks like his electric weapon started smoking. And. Uh, come on. And. Alright, we did it! Now, for the Titan to evil himself. Believe it or not, the Titan of Evil is actually a very gentle creature. Without his weapons, he is not really that much of a threat. The only attack he can do is hit you with his feelers, which can only deflowerize your Pikmin if even that. And, believe, and I like the way his eyes are. His eyes are freaking cool. Because they look like cool lights. And Louie is up there, unfortunately. There's a special tactic you want to save for when his health gets low. You want to save at least one or two of your unlucky, one or two purple potions for when his health gets low. This is a special tactic you can do. Okay, when he's in the red, use all your reds and your purples on him, because if he dies with the purple potion, his potions go low! We did it. Louis. Are your life functions fading? No, he appears only to have fainted. He is always running into trouble. Instruct the Pikmin to carry him. There is not enough room for him in the cockpit anymore. Because the president takes up both seats. No, I'm kidding. We will have to keep him in the cargo hold with the treasure hoard. Okay. And let's suck up a potion. Actually, I don't want the Pikmin to take Louie quite yet, because he gets the honor of being the last treasure we collect in the game. And take these treasures back up. We want to take the elemental weapons up first. Let's collect these potions, even though we don't really need them anymore since we collected all the treasures. Yeah, believe it or not, the weapons and Louie are the last five treasures of the game. And we got our first elect we got our first weapon. The shock therapist. Which basically just looks like an old-fashioned generator. Our first first elemental weapon, the shock therapist. Now we got our second elemental elemental weapon, the monster pump. It's basically just a tap faucet. The monster pump! Okay. Now we just need to carry the last two elemental weapons before we take up Louie. Where is the ship? Oh, it's over there. Can't even see the ship. Okay, okay next. We have to get the last two elemental weapons. And when they're done with that, we'll have the Pikmin carry Louie. Okay. We got our third elemental weapon, the flare cannon. 
basically looks like the end of a flamethrower. The flare cannon! And check this out. If you aim it like this, it's locked onto your face! Anyway, and finally, we got two more treasures. We got our last elemental weapon, which is the poison weapon. Last elemental weapon, the comedy bomb! Which actually kind of looks a little bit like a bomb, it has a skull and crossbones. The comedy bomb! And our final treasure of the game. Louie gets to be the honor to be the final treasure in the game. The King of Bugs! And we did it! We rescued Louie! Now, you can collect those potions if you want, which I'm probably going to do. Just in case if you forgot any treasures anywhere in this game, these potions will probably help you out in getting the last of them. Just in case if you skipped any of the treasures I found. And we did it. We got our lucky 77 Pikmin. There's nothing unlucky about that at all. Get up! Steve! Way to end the final battle, Steve, just by tripping. Let's take the geyser. Let's get out of here. We did it. We cleared the final dungeon of the game. We collected a total of 21 treasures and lost 23 Pikmin. No oh well. I did a lot worse than the whole of Heroes. So that's a Okay, complete! We found 65 Pokos with the creatures, the stringent container, the hypnotic platter, the yellow taste tyrant, the disguised delicacy, the extreme perspirator, the boss stone, the talisman of light, the implement of toil, the essence of desire, the king of bugs, the monster pump, the comedy bomb, the flare cannon, the shock therapist, the future orb, the universal calm, the mirrored element, the glee spinner, the possessed squash, the manual honer, and finally, the insect condo! Got a total of 6,030 Pokos worth of treasures here. Found a total of 27,512 Pokos. Gotta say, pretty good run. I have to give myself a big head about it, but oh well. Now we return back to the Wistful Wild. Collected every treasure in the game! Now just watch this. The end. Ah! 
But wait, it is not over yet. It is time to display my final results as to collecting all of the treasures in the game. But unfortunately, right now it's going too fast, so I'll probably have to scroll back up just to see my total stats. Okay. Scroll all the way back up and see how I did. Day spent. Only 20! I beat my personal record of 35! Lost 192 Pikmin, which is... I beat my old record again. Look at my old record. 464. Jeez. Lost 171 in battle. Left 5 behind. Still haven't lost any Pikmin to fire. Lost 2 to water. 2 to electricity. 11 to explosions. Lost 1 to poison. And have 510 Pikmin born. 98 red Pikmin. 88 yellow Pikmin, 149 blue Pikmin, 65 white Pikmin, 110 purple Pikmin, and we spent a total playtime of 20 hours and 48 minutes. That was a pretty good run. Again, I have to give myself a big head about it, but oh well. We did it! We cleared the Wistful Wild, and now I'm going to show you some things. Our final boss of the game, the Titan Dweevil! The largest member of the Dweevil family, this fearsome predator carries protective components that frequently exhibit offensive capabilities, an evolution that may be attributed to mere chance. Another evolutionary theory is that the chemical contents of the containers carried by Titan Dweevils contribute to possible gene splicing. While other Dweevils do not seem to choose the objects they carry, the Titan Dweevil appears to prefer shiny objects above all others. Finally, let's see our sets we got. You collected the Succulent series, plunged into the juicy world of alien cuisine. You collected the Nature's Candy series, avant-garde veggies for modern gourmets. You collected the Paleontology series, who knows a beast left these behind. You collect the Ancient Secret series, this old junk will make romantics weep with joy. You collected the Tortured Artist series. Everyone's inner artist will crave this set. You collected the Space Love series. These designs transcend intergalactic cultural barriers. You collected the Dream series. Consumers hear the word dream and open their wallets. You got the Blast from the Past series. My nostalgic pitch will transform these oldies into hits. You collected the Massive Receptacle series. Hokutations could practically live in these. You collected the Ancient Ad series. These persuasive logos are amazing attention grabbers. You collected the Odd Logo series. Indecipherable symbols are all the rage these days. You collected the Titan Dweevil series. Entomologists and film directors will buy them by the whole load. We did it. And now let's read our Almar's journal about each one of these weapons. The Shock Therapist. The Shocker was one of several weapons wielded by the ti nightmarish Titan Dweevil. It allowed the creature to smite Pikmin with zaps of lightning. This nanotech device gathers negative ions in the atmosphere and converts them into energy, and then releases that energy, zap! Use it to relieve muscle soreness and joint stress. One warning, however, it does render the user unconscious. The Flare Cannon! The scorching mechanism was once used by a monstrous Titan Dweevil. The roasting of parts has spews out hot jets of flame. You can't keep Louis away from it. He keeps trying to use it to cook sausages and caramelized creme brulee. <laughs> in the compressed air cylinder of this flamethrower, liquid gas is lit. It is in the fire that gives this weapon its name. It is very dangerous and good kids know to not to play with it. In case you wonder, it cannot be used as a substitute for a spaceship's rockets. It should never be used to cook sausages. NEVER! Our next weapon, the Comedy Bomb. This fiendish component was used by the Titan Dweevil. Although it was once a primitive chemical weapon, it is now a weapon of mass hilarity. You cannot see it, you cannot smell it. Yet this weapon is, will st would steal your life, given the chance. At least it used to, until I shrewdly exchanged its poison gas for hilarious laughing gas, hence the name Comedy Bomb. 
crafted with an eye for safety, it is the funniest weapon ever devised. The Monster Pump. The Savage Water Pump is just one of the many weapons wielded by the Titan Beagle. This pump is capable of spraying jets of hyperpressurized water. This eye automatically detects subterranean waterways, even if the water is buried a mile deep. This Monster Pump draws liquid any distance, and its almost uncontrollable power is fantastic. And now for Louis, the King of Bugs. Louis is back. Somehow he survived a horrific ordeal with a freakishly large weapon wielding Titan Dweevil. I entered a hole in an army of ferocious pitmen, grimly determined to save Louis from the Titan Dweevil, but it seems that he was perfectly fine all along. Can't understand how he managed to avoid being eaten. Hmm. He's always had an unusually close connection with insects, and I know he loves to cook them. Maybe he wasn't kidnapped after all. Could he have been controlling that beast all along? No, that's craziness! Although, he does insist now that we address him by his proper title, the King of Bugs. A new employee of Hogatate Freight, Louis is often silent. No one knows what thoughts lurk in his mind. He appears to operate on the same wavelengths as insects, often with dangerous results. After he was kidnapped, he somehow managed to hijack a colossal insect's brain. Louis was the one behind it all. Louis tried to kill us. I don't know why, but Louis tried to kill us. And before we end the game, before we end this LP, there's one last thing I want to show you. There is a special scene you can unlock if you get all 50 pink flowers in challenge mode. So, I'm going to show it to you since I already cleared it. Louis' Dark Secret. The president trusted Louie with the golden pick pick carrots. But Louie couldn't suppress his powerful hunger. And he ate every last one. Then he falsified his report to the president. Which led to Hokate Frey occurring an insurmountable debt. That's our Louie, naughty boy. Anyway, now that we have beaten and gotten all the treasures of Pikmin 2, I guess it's time to end the LP. So, I guess I will see you guys next LP. See you then. <laughs>